So it turns out over in Egypt there was a massive uh, 3,400 year old uh, walkway of sphinxes on earth in uh, linking to these two temples of Luxor and Karnak. It was unearthed in Egypt uh, a few days ago. And I want to point out that this was nothing more than an occult ritual of the Egyptian god Ra. Okay, That's what this thing was. And they had a big ceremony there commemorating the whole thing. It was an occult ritual, an occult Illuminati ritual of the Egyptian sun god Ra. Okay, The Jesuits, the Freemasons, and the Illuminati worship Egyptian deities. That's how they are. The Jesuits are not, are not the Society of Jesus. They are the Society of Isis, Horus, and Set. The Jesuit symbol symbolizing Isis, Horus, and Set, the Egyptian Trinity, okay? The Jesuit symbol of IHS, okay? They'll claim it, it because they call themselves the Society of Jesus, they'll claim it, it's a Christian symbol. It's actually not. The IHS stand for Isis, Horus, and Set, which is the Egyptian Trinity, and it's who the Jesuits really worship, and who the Illuminati really worship. And by the way, the Illuminati is Jesuit Ran. The Jesuit Ran Illuminati uh, worship of Amun-Ra was on full display in Egypt at this unearthing of this walkway. Okay, I'm going to read this article from the Guardian. Uh, let me just pull up the article. It says, A restored road connecting two ancient Egyptian temple complexes in, in Karnak and Luxor, Karnak and Luxor, have been unveiled and a lavish ceremony aimed at raising the profile of one of Egyptians' top tourist spots. The possession on Tuesday to reopen the 1.7 mile road included a reenactment of the ancient Alpet festival which, in which statues of Theban deities were paraded, around, were paraded annually during the Kingdom era celebration of fertility and flooding of the Nile. The Egyptian president Ab Abel Fattah al-Sisi marched along the road at the start of the ceremony uh, pharaonic Pharaonic, I hope I'm saying that word right, chariots, and more than 400 young performers dressed in uh, pharaonic costumes paraded along the avenue. The 3,400 year old road linking the ancient centers of Kanak and Luxor, also known as the Road of Rams or the Avenue of Sphinxes, is lined with hundreds of ram and human headed sphinxes uh, through over the years have been either eroded or destroyed. So basically, the walkway was full of these Illuminati symbols symbolizing their gods and this walkway was full of these idols these egyptian idols symbolizing the gods of the illuminati and the gods of the jesuits and people can call me a conspiracy theorist but you look at again the jesuit symbol of ihs they're worshiping egyptian deities so this walkway was symbolizing the gods of the illuminati and the gods of the jesuits and they're doing this big occult massive ritual down this pagan idol of these illuminati satanic gods, these false deities, they're devils, that are just disguised as uh, these Egyptian deities. But can I continue on reading the next part of the article? Quote, the road has undergone several restoration efforts since being discovered in 1949 and the latest began in 2017. Tourism is a crucial source of jobs and hard currency for Egypt, which made, which made a concerted effort to lure back the travelers kept away by the coronavirus pandemic. On April 22nd, ancient royal mummies from Luxor and the nearby Valley of Kings were paraded from Cairo's Egyptian Museum to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. Egyptian, Egypt tourist revenues plunged from about $4 billion in 2020 to uh, down to $13 billion in 2019. So, basically, their tourism, they're doing this occult ritual to get their tourism up. Why? The love of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. So, has going on over in Egypt. Not surprising because you read in the book of Revelation, uh, Egypt is a type of the world. You read all throughout the Bible, Egypt is a type of the world. Egypt was a typology of the world. And that was where in the book of Exodus, the ancient Israelites were enslaved in Egypt. And Egypt is full, of, like you read in Exodus chapter 7, Exodus chapter 8, the ancient Egyptian priests were doing all kinds of occult rituals, which is what was going on in this ceremony here, unearthing this pagan Egyptian walkway of these Illuminati Jesuit gods. Because the Jesuit symbol, remember the Jesuit symbol of IHS is the Isis, Horus, and Set symbol. Isis, Horus, and Set, the Egyptian trinity, who the Jesuits and the Illuminati really worship. So I wanted to show you guys that, this massive occult ritual going on in Egypt. Not surprising in the end times, just preparing, basically preparing the way for the Antichrist. Plain and simple. That's like the goal of the Jesuit-led Illuminati. So don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.